Welcome back to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel ladies and gents. Today we're diving into Motive's Dead Space Remake. The classic sci-fi horror has returned, completely rebuilt from the ground up. This brings with it striking visual fidelity, thrilling atmospheric audio and climactic gameplay. Like all PC performance reviews should, we are beginning with the settings options. Testing at 1440p here on Shadow PC's power upgrade, I was happily surprised to find a very well optimised game straight out of the box, something we have not been accustomed to all that much in recent years. We are turning motion blur and fill grain off as I always do, dynamic resolution scale will not be needed, but we are testing here with Nvidia DLSS set to balanced. I'm pushing the graphics setting up to the ultra preset and with that, let's see what this gives us. Stepping onto the USG Ishimura for the first time, we see our frame rate bounce between the low 60s into the 70s and the frame time is fairly stable with a couple of spikes here and there. Not a bad start and so far feels very responsive. As we progress into some darker areas of the ship with minimal lighting, you'll see our FPS count jump into the 80s and 90s with fewer details needing to be rendered. Heading over to our first little chase sequence, I can tell you this game is very smooth. Even playing via shadow, my inputs are responded to very quickly and we get to see some more of the improved graphics. The blood spatter, after having a necromorph sheared in half right in front of us, is especially gory and finely detailed on our suit. Moving over to some action sequences, please forgive my panicked and erratic aim. I get so wrapped up and immersed in this genre type, so when my heart rate pulses after <laughs> my pants, I just start spamming melee and firing like a maniac. All the while, our game is still performing very well and most importantly, very stable, allowing us to enjoy and get sucked into what is a fantastic game. From my initial testing here at 1440p, I know that if you want to play in 4K, then you will easily be able to hold a steady 60fps with Shadow. Credit goes to the developers for creating a grotesquely detailed environment that will draw you in at all resolutions and allow for a very smooth gaming experience. At the end of my hourly session while well, initially testing, I had an average of 78fps. There are absolutely no disadvantages to playing this on Shadow, so long as your local network is capable. So go out and enjoy this stunning remake, and maybe, like me, you're hoping to see a second and third, just like the original trilogy. Although, Dead Space 2 wasn't received very well, maybe this time they can make up for it. Thanks for coming to check out our latest video, why not check out some more, and we'll be back with some exciting new videos very soon.